tummy hurts. Hey kids, I'm Miss Sarah. Oh man, my tummy really hurts. I just probably wasn't a good idea, but I just ate a whole bag of Oreo cookies. I thought it was a good idea at first, and I know that my mom always used to tell me growing up to, you know, moderate and only eat one or two, but I just like them so much. And now I'm probably gonna make my kids sad because there's no Oreos left for them. And, well, my tummy really, give me one second. Oh, oh. phew, I feel better now. So, we make choices every day. Uh, what color of picture, what color we're gonna color our picture, what toys we're gonna play with, um, sometimes even what snack we wanna eat. Uh, there's so many different choices that we make every day. Some choices are good, some not so bad. But you know what the really awesome news is? Is that God loves us no matter what, whether we make good choices or whether we make bad choices. And today, our Bible story is about um, a story that Jesus told about a guy who didn't make a really great choice, but he was loved anyways, and he was welcomed back anyways. I'm so excited for you to hear this Bible story. But before we get started, let's praise God and worship him because he is awesome, because he loves us no matter what. Are you ready? Let's go.
you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But, as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard, it's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up, just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through, hoo. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? What a great story. We are so special to God that he loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? I can still love Pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. There is nobody else on earth just like you and just like me. God loves us just the way he created us. Even when we make bad choices, he still loves us. That's so awesome. 
So let's keep practicing our memory verse so we have it memorized, so it sticks in here, and we know that nothing can separate us from God's love, not even our bad choices. All right, let's switch things up a little bit maybe, like let's have some fun and make a funny face when we say it, or maybe a funny noise. Should we try that? How about, how about I make a funny robot voice? You try it with me. Ready? Nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39. That's kind of fun and goofy. What did you think? Did I sound okay? All right, let's try it one more time. Maybe this time we can sound like a mouse. Ready? All right. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39. I don't know, maybe your mouse sounded very different than mine, but hopefully that helps it stick. All right, awesome job, high five. What is this? Oh, it's a letter from Community Links, and they're asking if we can help show some kindness to some of the uh, seniors in our community. What do you think? Should we? You wanna help? I think I wanna help. I love being creative. Let's help them out. All right, so our friends at Community Links asked if we would partner with them and draw some pictures and show some kindness to a group of grandmas and grandpas in our community. Um, so I happen to have an extra kid hanging out with me today. This is my friend, Natalie. And so we thought we would draw some pictures and we thought you guys could draw some pictures too. And then we could maybe um, give them to the grandmas and grandpas in our community. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. Okay. All right. So there's lots of different things that we can draw, but we have decided we're going to draw a kite because a kite is very spring-like and they're fun to draw. And we haven't done that before. So we're going to get started. Natalie, what do we need to get started? A marker, piece, a piece of paper. You can also use a pencil if you want to erase something if you make a mistake and also some coloring you sounds good that's it easy peasy lemon squeezy all right you ready to get started right pull off your lid for your marker or pull your pencil out whatever you're doing okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna draw it's gonna be kind of like a cross but in, at an angle so we're just gonna draw a line like this and then another line across it like that Oh, your marker looks a little dried out. Maybe grab a new one. <laughs> There's lots right there. We're just gonna wait for Natalie to get caught up. That's okay. Picked another blue one. All right. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna take lines and we're gonna connect our points of our cross here. So we're gonna take a line and go from here to here. We're gonna connect it like that. It kind of looks like a four, doesn't it? And then we're gonna connect it like that. And then connect it again over here. And then connect it again over there. Kind of look like a kite. All right, and so on every kite, there's little sticks that usually stick out both sides. So we're just gonna draw just a teeny tiny little rectangle on each of these corners of our diamond shape, just like that. Perfect, that's our sticks that are coming out. Okay, and now for the super duper fun part. We're gonna draw a big U and then we're gonna draw um, what shape is that? <laughs> a rainbow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just draw a big U like this. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a rainbow. Perfect, that's our kite string. It doesn't matter if it looks exactly like mine because kite strings all look different. And now we're gonna draw some little ribbons, some little bows on it. So an easy way to do that is just to draw an X. Yeah, and then you're gonna, just the same way we connected the lines there, you're gonna connect those two lines and those two lines. Oh, oh not quite like that, that's all right. Make sure you watch me before you start. <laughs> that's okay, let's try again. Okay, so another X, 
and you gotta connect the long sides over here on the side. There you go, perfect. Yours just has like a little, it's a different shape. Yeah. You could do that again. It's, it's like a special. different shape. It's a special bow. Okay, so you can do as many of those as you want or as little of those as you want. And it looks like a kite. So then the next thing we do is color. So we're gonna speed this part up, but you can slow it down, cause yeah, you can. That's the beauty of being online. You're much quicker than I am. Okay, then you could color the bows if you want. And then after we're done this, we're gonna add. Okay, there, now that we're all done coloring this part, now we can go back into our picture and it looks like a kite. So now you can build your scene around it. You could make, you know, a hill in the background and a sun some clouds, whatever, it could be out in a field, there could be a tree, maybe it's about to go into a tree, whatever you, whatever you wanna do. So I'm just gonna draw a sun here. And then you're just gonna color that part in. Oh, I like how you did your sun on that side. That looks really good. Are you doing rolling hills too? Oh, that's perfect because you're actually standing on the hill. Oh, and you drew yourself flying the kite. I love it. All right, and then you could color your whole picture in, and then you could write, Jesus loves you. Awesome, and then that lets our friends know that Jesus loves them, and then you could get your parents to snap a picture of it, and we can send it to them. Thanks, Natalie, for joining me. You're welcome. I had so much fun drawing kites with you. Draw as many as you can, okay? Lots and 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 lots of kites so that we can show kindness to the seniors in our community, okay? And show them God's love. So before I head out of here, let's pray. All right, God, we thank you so much that you are an awesome God, that no matter what mistakes we make, you still love us. Thank you for your love. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it. So be blessed this week, my friend, and I will see you next week. Bye.